Hi, I'm Tom with Learn PDA Online, and in this video, we're doing a large dent damage tutorial. So, it's not going to be 100% repair today because there is some damage to the paintwork, but hopefully, it will give you a good insight as to how I approach large damage uh, and the process in, in taking it out. Um, working in the beautiful British weather today, so it is a little bit wet, a little bit miserable, so the lighting won't be quite so good today. And also, I'm right underneath the Heathrow flight path, so all throughout the videos, we're going to keep getting plane noises, so I'll apologise ahead of time. But it should be quite a good one today, so stay tuned and find out more. So here you can see the damage today. As I say, it's quite a heavy hit right on the tailgate, but unfortunately it has damaged the paint. So we've got a bit of paint missing there, which we can't do a lot with, but we'll certainly see if we can take out the majority of the dent. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is opening up the tailgate, and we're gonna take off the inside trims. So we'll just have a look and see what tools we're gonna to need today for this. So we've got a trim across here, which I'll probably remove, see what access there is through that way. A uh, small little handle, and then the main sort of um, uh, interior trim board on the inside here. So all of this will come out, and I'm hoping that it's gonna be quite open on the inside to be able to get a lot or a lot of access to that damage. So get some tools and we'll take a look. So as we open up and look on the inside, we can really see it's nice and open in there. So plenty of room to get the tools in. And as we come around to this other angle around the other side, you can really see the impact point uh, just there, that sharp point where it's almost punched through the metal. Now, there's no way I'm gonna get that bit perfect, especially not with that paint damage. So we're just gonna work around the rest of the dent and do an improvement there. So once that panel's nice and warm, I'm gonna get behind the, the softer sections of it and just with the, the palm of my hand, just see if any of the panel starts to move. What I'm hoping to do is reduce the overall size quite quickly um, and then see what bits are left in terms of stretch metal um, and kind of where it's kinked the panel and obviously that really deep bit right in the middle. But it looks fairly movable, so I'm hoping with a bit of heat and just a, a, some gentle pressure um, just by hand, we'll be able to take out some of the dent and then see what we're left with. So by pushing it with hands, I've just taken out some of the dent. Just to make the overall size a little bit smaller and see what we're left with. As you can see, we're gonna get loads of these little stretch marks where the dent was. Now, although I could push more of that out, I'm gonna stop and try and work on this section here. This is where most of the tension is now in the panel. So I want to try and draw out some of that metal whilst we've still got plenty of um, kind of soft metal to work with. If I push it all out and leave that to last, I think it might lock up and just put a bit too much tension in the dent. So the panel is starting to move around a little bit. I'm reducing tension and just choosing, in my way of doing things, um, to reduce the main damage, kind of reduce the overall size as quickly as possible um, and making sure I'm moving around a lot, checking where the tension is and trying to remove as much tension as possible. Um, so I've pushed out some of it by hand. I've released some of the tension using glue. Um, I'm gonna get the hammer and knock down, um, blend and hammer and just start moving some of the little high spots, um, tapping down some of the crowns. But it's important to move around, try if it's not, if it feels too, uh, too much tension on it, then switch back to pushing from behind. And once we're pushing from behind, again, if once that starts to feel a bit too tight, a bit too tense, then we can switch back to tapping down. It is pouring down at the moment. So hopefully the sound quality isn't too bad. Um, but I just want to show you the uh, the section I'm about to tap down. So here we have that ridge. The glue pulled out some of the tension in this section, just here. 
um, but I want to tap down some of this uh, ridge here and high spot and just make sure that we're putting the tension back into the panel and pushing the metal from here back down towards this um, section at the bottom here. To watch the full video and to find out what went right, what went wrong and most importantly what I would do differently if I was going to attack this dent again, come and join the membership at learnpdronline.com. So I'm also using this little knockdown, um, I had this for years and can't remember where I got it from, um, but it's just a little metal um, knockdown and I've just put a red cap on it just to, again just to soften it up a little bit. Um, and then this Shane Jack's blending hammer, uh, I've been playing around with the different ends. Um, put one of these Dentcraft rubber tips on it, again just to really softly work some of the highs down um, without putting divots in it. But uh, yeah, a combination of these to soften the blows um, and again just take out some of the high spots around. Um, but I'm going to switch it up in a minute and start getting from the inside and pushing and trying to push out some of this damage now um, and again just keep continue working the dent. So I started pushing out some of the um, low spots through here, um, but it was really tight so I, I realised I have to come back to tapping down more of the high spots, um, sort of, yeah, high spots, ridges and crowns to release some of that tension before I can then go back to pushing. Um, so I've just gone back to the soft tip and just gently tapping down, using my line board I can see the lines um, where the panel's still quite uh, tense and like the ridges through there. So I'm, uh, default back to the tap down before going back to pushing. I'm now switching to uh, this tool with a little red cap on the end. I'm getting and use these um, uh, inner frame sort of braces as leverage and just really start to move around, plenty of access in there to be able to start pushing out some of the little low spots. So right now I'd say we're around about the halfway point. You can see the majority of that dent is out, but it is messy. There's um, riffles and distortion across the whole panel. So still got plenty of work to do here. Um, but I thought it was a good time just to run the camera around, um, give you that kind of uh, insight really as to what we're up against now, um, even though the large dent is out or at least gotten back into shape, just the amount of work we've got ahead of us um, in removing the rest of the damage. So I'm at one of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the hardest stages of the repair now. And that's really because of the timing. Uh, I'd say I'm about halfway there with it. I've got out the majority of the large damage um, and now we're left with loads and loads of little highs and lows. Um, distortion up across the panel. So there's gonna be a lot of um, uh, very sort of finesse work now in tapping down all the little high spots, uh, reducing the ridges and the crowns as well as pushing up all of the little lows that are in there. So it's a real mental battle at this stage. I've been on it for a couple of hours, um, getting to this stage, and I'm, I expect I've still got another couple of hours to go in terms of uh, pushing the low spots, tapping down the highs. So I've always got it in the back of my head with this particular repair, that it's not gonna be perfect anyway due to the paint damage. Um, and I have had that conversation with the customer in a sense of getting it as good as I can with paintless dent repair and they will then decide whether just to touch in the exposed paint by themselves or have it done at a body shop where they can respray the, the tailgate knowing that the majority of the dent damage is out. So what I'm doing now at this stage is setting up my line board and taking out a low lows and highs and then moving to the next point. Line board and then taking out the lows um, and the highs. And it's the most important thing as always with every dent but even more so with the large damage is to cross check your work constantly. Um, so I'm, I'm working out the, the lows and the highs I can see from one angle, and then I just a slight adjustment on the board and then work out the lows and highs from that angle. Switch to another angle, and then again, I'm just going along, pushing out the little low spots, tapping along, uh, put the tip back on this uh, blending hammer, and just tapping in um, with the idea that Again, still moving as much metal as possible, as quickly as possible, without rushing. Now I've um, sped up this section of the video. Um, it's probably a good um, hour and a half to two hours of um, pushing, but also a lot of um, tapping down, uh, knockdowns, blending, um, and just a lot of work. But because it, it really does take um, a long time to do this repair start to finish, there's a limit to obviously how much you want to see me hit in a panel um, for hours on end. Um, so I've sped it up quite a lot just to kind of get, a, I didn't want to cut out too much of the video. Um, and this is kind of a condensed 
version of the video for YouTube. Um, but hopefully it still gives a fairly good idea as to the process and methods involved in removing this dent. So I think it's always good to challenge yourself. Uh, you don't know what you can't do or can do until you have a go. So I personally like to take on a lot of stuff and just see how I get on with it. And I always have that conversation up front, whether I think it's gonna be 100%, whether it's just gonna be an improvement repair. So today, this was just an improvement repair um, and job done from that sense, it's improved. Um, I, it's always gonna bug me and any professional dent man when you get little imperfections in there. And I think if I'd spend more time on it, I could potentially get a couple of those tiny little divots out, but with the great big um, stretch metal and broken paint in there, there's a limit to how much it's worth perfecting the rest of the panel when you've got that big issue in the middle. Um, so I'll run the camera across, we'll have a good look around the dents. Um, the main issue I had today was th the sheer extent that the whole panel had stretched, but that one sharp point where the paint had broken had almost punctured through the metal, uh, which we could see on the inside. And th that really held so much tension in there, I've just struggled to get 100% um, of that dent out. Um, so, like I say, fairly pleased with the overall um, improvement on it, but we just, it's by no means perfect in terms of little stretch marks and the little dimples across the panel. But let's take a look. Just in case you forgot, here's the large dent damage we started our day with. So as we move in, you can see the majority of the dent is out. This was the main problem area where the metal was so stretched in, it just held a lot of tension in. So the majority of the dent is out. But we can certainly see, getting in close, a lot of the small imperfections in the panel. If you look at those reflections and see the small marks that are left in there. Hopefully it gave you a bit of an idea um, as to how I approach large damage and some of the problems I faced uh, or you know, different sort of methods and tools involved to reduce that dent damage. But as always, leave your comments below, do get in touch, let me know any questions you may have. Um, I'm Tom with Learn PDR Online. Thank you for watching.